My least favorite roller coaster at Indiana Beach is Steel Hog. This ride is built by SNS and it's the only SNS roller coaster that I have ridden, so I don't have a high opinion of them so far. I've seen that they built amazing rides such as X Max Force, etc. But I haven't gotten a ride in any of the really good rides. Anyways, why is Steel Hog so bad? Let me tell you the full experience of the ride, from entering the queue line to exiting the ride. Um, the queue line is located in the front left corner of the park, and it is filled with switchbacks. And there is absolutely no theming, so it is also extremely boring. The line feels extremely slow, as there are only 4 people per car, and cars dispatch about every 45 seconds. Based on a little bit of basic math, this ride can have a capacity of somewhere between 320 to 500 riders per hour, so this ride does not offer a great capacity. Once you climb the stairs and walk into the station, you will board the four-person train and pull down on your lap bar. And over-the-shoulder strain. The over-the-shoulder strain is absolutely ridiculous. You only need a lap bar. And to make matters even worse, the ride operator pushed down on the restraint, so I had to slouch the whole ride which made it very uncomfortable. By the way, loose articles can go to the side of the station. There are no storage bins, but they don't make you rent a locker. Once you're given the all clear, you will dispatch from the station and make a 180 degree right turn before ascending the steep 96 feet tall lift hill. Turn to the right of it and go into a sharp left turn and go down the trim drop, which is 111 degrees. And it's pretty abrupt. Fun fact, this is the 8th steepest drop of any roller coaster in the world. Anyways, pull out and reach the top speed of 41 miles per hour. Rise up and sharply turn to the left before going into the first mid-course brake run of the ride. The exit of the brake run is nice as it turns outer bank, then banks inwards, going to the left the whole time. And it flips upside down and you dive, dive down through a dive loop. It is pretty whippy and fun. Rise out of the dive loop and go into the second mid-course break run. Turn to the right and go down basically a mini Iron Glossy death row. Go into a right turn and hop into the final break run. I didn't really pay attention to the forces of the elements of the ride, as the over-the-shoulder restraint was digging into my shoulders and causing me to have to slouch the whole ride, and it was too painful to pay attention to the actual ride itself. If this ride had better restraints, would I like it more? Yeah, probably. This ride was pretty smooth, not too rough, and the elements were very whippy, but I don't really enjoy it. Um, I'd recommend giving it a try though, but that's about all I have to mention in this review. Um, the ride has an awesome layout, but horrible restraints. I hope you enjoyed. Please subscribe to Storming Coasters and like this video. Comment below what you think of Steel Hog if you've ridden it, and have a great rest of your day.